Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here. Like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, first off, I hope y'all had a great Christmas and New Year's. My Christmas was pretty good. You know, I spent some time with the family, got my belly full, opened up a few gifts, and then the New Year's uh, was a pretty relaxed day for me. I didn't do much. I didn't go out partying and drinking and stuff like that. It's just not me. I don't do the whole party and drinking thing. I did that in my 20s, my friends, but I'm not in my 20s anymore. I'm halfway to 40, so I kind of passed the whole drinking and going out and partying phase, so I'm kind of just like old guy now that plays around with RCs. <laughs> uh, but the question is, did I get any new RCs for Christmas? And no, I did not, my friends. I did not get any new RCs for Christmas. I actually asked old Santa Claus for a new DSR camera for my photography and videos work. If you guys don't know, one of my biggest passions that I enjoy doing other than RCing is photography. I love taking pictures of landscapes and seeing areas, modeling shoots and stuff like that. I absolutely enjoy doing photography. If you guys want to check out my work, I will include a link down in the description box where you can see my work. Uh, it's all on Facebook there. Uh, I actually ended up getting a uh, brand new camera and uh, so I got the Canon 800D series which is a Canon Rebel T7i. I really love this camera. It has so many features that my last DSR camera did not even have and it's just such an awesome camera. I actually ended up getting the Video Creators Kit which comes with the Rode microphone which has a very high quality microphone. Uh, out there and so the audio of the videos are going to be a lot more better than the previous videos so uh, so a lot of new things for this year and uh, so yeah all right uh, so let's talk about what's going to go on for the channel for 2020 right now I have two things that I want to work on one is going to be an overhaul project and it's going to be on the HG Humvee right there I'm going to be uh, doing an overhaul on that changing out all the stock electronics and stuff like that and put in some more decent electronics also change out tires scaling it out adding the sound system in the truck and make it a more capable trail truck than what it is now so that's one of the projects that I'm going to be doing. Another project that I'm working on is my Axial SCX-10 II. I'm going to make that a more capable vehicle for my crawling because uh, I use that truck a lot when I go out and crawl. So I really want to get into the performance aspects of this truck and have it running top notch and stuff. Uh, so that's one of the projects that I'm going to be working on. Uh, and then if I do have any other projects coming up, which I in the process of looking at some things right now but I'm just doing some research and, and seeing what I would need and uh, calculate the cost of it and all that stuff like that but as far as getting any new RC's right now uh, I'm gonna say no on that part right there I just I really want to get these two trucks squared off and also uh, work on some of my existing uh, RC's that I have right now and get those squared off and updated with some new electronics and stuff like that uh, so yeah so that's a few things that's going to be going on here at the channel now uh, I do want to talk about something else here on the channel one of my goals for the channel for this year is to be more active here on the channel uh, last year in 2019 I wasn't very active I did a few videos not as quite as many have I done in the past previous years uh, and the reason why that was that Last year, I was just so busy with a lot of things between my full-time job, my auto detailing business, my photography, and some other things as well. It kind of took me away from uh, the channel a little bit, but I did do a quite a bit of RC last year. I actually, uh, a little over a year and a half ago, I met up with some local guys here in my hometown that are into the hobby grade RC world, and they're mostly into the crawlers. And one guy built a sweet crawler course at his house. It's called the Ditch. RC Park. Yeah, you guys can check it out on Facebook. It uh, and I'll link that down below too as well. But an awesome place and very super challenging and diff very hard. <laughs> so uh, I've been out there running with those guys, and I had plenty of opportunities to break out the camera and film, and which I did a few times. But most of the time, I really wanted to run with these guys and uh, crawl with them and everything and just be a part of the group you know it's always nice to have a group of people that shares the same common interests as you do 
and I really like that aspect of just being with a group of people that uh, that are into the same thing that I'm into we can talk and relate the same stuff and all that good stuff so uh, so yeah so but this year I'm definitely gonna get more motivated on doing these videos uh, if I have to strike a fire under my tail to uh, get out and do some videos I'll do it well not literally I won't really actually go out there and set myself on fire just to do it but you got you guys get the you know what I'm saying on this part here it's just getting more motivated uh, another thing that I do want to accomplish this year or try to is uh, one of my goals that I set back a while back actually is I want to hit the 5,000 subscriber mark this year by hopefully by the end of 2020 I want to hit the 5,000 subscriber mark now the reason why I want to hit the 5,000 subscriber mark is that it will be a big achievement for me you know it's just like when you hit your first thousand subscribers that's an achievement I want to hit the 5,000 subscribers I'm at right now I'm at 4,800 subscribers give or so 4,800 so I really would like to hit the 500 uh, that 5,000 subscribers so if you guys have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to it uh, it will definitely help me out and supporting me and what I do and I do appreciate it if you do it uh, but you know that's something that I also don't do a lot here on the channel. Other YouTuber video makers out there are always pushing, you know, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I don't try to push that really too much because I don't like forcing anybody to do something they don't want to do. This is not a requirement. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like the video. You don't have to comment on it. That's just something if you want to do it, you can do it. Uh, but you know if you do subscribe and comment and watch the videos and stuff I do appreciate it uh, I really do you know uh, so so yeah so if you do subscribe thank you and supporting me and my hobby and what I do and all so uh, yeah I just want to let you guys know that I'm not gonna force you into doing something you don't want to do you do it because you want to do it all right you you like a video because you like it because of what was in it or content you subscribe to the channel because you like this content or you like what this person is doing so yeah all right my friends so that's all i have to say right now for this video uh so yeah all right so uh it's gonna be a fun sighting year all right so uh we'll do some things around here and do, get some videos pumped out for you guys all right, my friends, so I am tired of talking. I'm getting a little hoarse with it, but I want to say thank you guys uh, for everything, and uh, this is definitely going to be an amazing year, so just keep on watching and everything, and like always, guys, I will see y'all at the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, and again, happy 2020, my friends. I'll see y'all later.